Despite the objections of the Pakistani government, the Pakistani people, and pretty much the entire world, drone strikes continue to happen in Afghanistan from U.S. drones. Two missiles were launched into a bakery in northwest Pakistan on Saturday. It was four suspected militants who were killed. Officials say all of the ones killed were foreigners, but they're not yet sure of the nationality of the individuals. Now, this is what's very interesting. Four suspected militants have been killed. Four people were killed for being suspected of being militants. In other words, there wasn't even any evidence that someone had even actually done anything wrong and they were killed. Literally, they're going around and killing people for no reason, despite the vaguest idea of a suspicion. And from what information we do have, their suspicious activity was being at a bakery. And so, of course, the bakery had to be destroyed, costing that guy his business and most likely as a source of bread, a source of food for everybody around them. Because bakeries there aren't the same thing as a bakery is here. Here, a bakery is pretty much you know, specialty breads and treats. But in Afghanistan, a, a bakery is where you get bread and where you are able to, whether or not you can eat. Now, this comes at a very, very bad time after the U.S. just suspended you know, $33 million in aid after the Pakistani government sent Dr. Afridi to jail for betraying his, saying that he betrayed his country by revealing the location of Osama bin Laden in Abbottabad. Now, last November, supply routes where U.S. forces are getting their supplies to Pakistan was cut off by the government because of drone strikes that kept killing a lot of people and all the outrage over that and the U.S. never stopped. And as a result, they cut off the supply lines. Now, this aptly demonstrates that even though they got their supply chains open again, they just don't care about the Pakistani population. I mean, this should be fairly obvious by now. The population of Pakistan means nothing to the U.S. government. Clearly, their lives don't mean anything. They can just go around killing the population whenever they want for whatever suspected reason it is that they want, and nobody can do anything because nobody actually has the capability there of stopping the drones. I mean, the, the, the human rights crisis over this is, is astounding. They're literally allowed to just go into another country and shoot up a bunch of people because they suspect them of having done something. Four people were murdered for being suspected of being something that might be a problem. Not even demonstrating that they even did anything wrong, but they might be people who might have done something. I mean, this is just, this is just an unbelievable concept. They literally murder for like next to nothing. And that these, these incidents, these murdering of civilians, only takes the population of Pakistan and drives them towards the Taliban and to support radical Islam as a way of getting U.S. influence out of their country. And then the people of America sit around and then say, well, everybody hates us because they hate our freedoms. Well, no, they hate you because of this. They don't support you because of this. They burn your flag. They burn effigies of U.S. presidents because of incidents like this where a complete contempt for the lives of the Pakistanis are displayed. I mean, you guys, you're just not going to get it. They don't like you because you keep killing them.